Spartans, welcome back. It's Boyle Unitas back with Guess the Brilliancy, episode 5. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at Mikhail Tall from Latvia, the mad scientist, one of the most brilliant tacticians and aggressive players that the world has ever seen. And as always, hold the line until next time. Peace. This game, circa 1972, Tall has the white, Mikhail has the black. Find white's brilliant move to continue putting pressure on black. This was a trick question. In this game, after the engine gets to run for a few seconds, there's actually two brilliant moves that Tall could have played. Both would have been correct. So if you chose knight to d5 or bishop to d5, Technically, you are correct, but in this game, white plays bishop to d5. The reason that this is a brilliant move is because, say, black takes with the pawn, white would take with the pawn and give a check, and now the king has to start running out of the way because the king doesn't want to have this bishop block because if this bishop blocks, here comes the knight in, putting pressure on the pin piece. And the top engine move for black is to castle, but if black castle, here comes rook to e7, and after rook to e7, the bishop would slide over to c8, putting pressure on this knight, but then you go with a knight to h6, you sacrifice another knight, and this would probably be another brilliant move after the engine gets to run his course, because if black would take, you would take with the bishop, you open up this file here, and white is just completely, completely dominating, because even if after black wants to go for a trade of pieces here, white would give a check, here comes the queen over here, but now we have the subtle queen to d3 putting the position in jeopardy because mate is soon to come. Say instead of putting the bishop to d5, you put the knight to d5. It's the same concept. After black takes with a discover check, you have to run the king. And after the king starts to run, you start putting pressure on that king side, attacking. You have control of this e file with his rook. If they start doing some trades, white is only up point uh, 1.6 on the eval bar, but black has to play so careful to continue to survive in this game. This is the same game, just a few moves further on. You guys have five seconds to find the brilliant move. Should look familiar. Knight to d5, brilliant move. Same concept as before. Black has to take, you give a discover check. Here comes the king coming into the open. This is a pretty much open C file. All it would take is white trading that pawn, creating some advantage to get control of this file and the king will be in dire straits. Our second game, but our third brilliant move of this episode is between Tal and Shamkovich of USA. Tal with the white pieces, Shamkovich with the black. Find the brilliant move for white to win. I got a Samsung phone. If you guys got an iPhone out there, I'm sorry that you guys are presents, but it is what it is. Samsung's goaded. And if you guys guessed Rook to F4 in my best Gotham chess impression, you guys are correct because after black takes, which is what they did, it is now mate in eight on the board. It is mate on eight on the board and he finds it because he's a grandmaster world champion. I would never find this because I'm in 1100 and rapid. He finds it because it's queen to H6, followed by queen to F6, followed by pawn to G6, followed by rook to F6. One and at this point in the game, black does resign because mate, like we said, is unstoppable. Black just had to find it themselves. It took black four extra moves to find it, white had already found it because it is as simple as black having moved to d8, the best move. But here comes the queen giving a check to the h8. King has one spot and one spot only, but it's still under pressure. Rook slides over to the F7 square. It's mate and two on the board because there's only one legal move. Queen comes and harasses the king again to the D4 square. King has only one legal move to the C6 square and it is now mate on C5. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes Guess the Brilliancy episode number five. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hold the line until then. Peace.